Hey guys, it's Gaming with Captain Gravy, and today I'm going to be showing you, um, this is a little guide for um, smallmouth bass in North Carolina. So, where are we right now? We are at the, um, the Woody Enchantment, I'm pretty sure. Yes, that's correct. And we are using um, a bass jig. That That's just my personal preference. Always check your times table for peak fishing hours and uh, that. And like I said, this bass jig is my personal preference. You can really use anything that's on the recommended uh, list for these guys. And right now we are going to be using the lift and drop retrieve to see um, if we can pull some in so I can show you guys that this spot works. So we're just going to be doing lift and drop. There we go guys, got our first fish. Turn up the drag here a bit. Bring this guy in. And here he comes. Smallmouth bass flying in. Here we go. 2.651 pounds. $288. Now keep in mind this is my um this is my premium account. So this um, you might get $200 probably on your standard account and you might get like half the experience or something like that. But still, these guys are a great way to earn your cash and they're just, it's that simple. I mean, just come down here. Well, go to, um, the map here for a second. Yep. I'm at Woody Enchantment and I'm at the peak fishing hours. Always check your graphs. Peak fishing, fishing hours and can really use any of your favorite lures, casting spoons, bass jigs, spinnerbaits, worms, crayfish, and crankbaits. I've caught them on all of those, and crankbaits I think work pretty good also. The casting spoons work, you're going to get a little bit smaller ones if you are not using the heavier stuff, and the bass jigs work pretty well as I can say, using the lift and drop method. I've not tried spinnerbaits um, yet. I've tried the crayfish and worms. I couldn't get them to actually bite down on it. I was probably using the wrong hook size. But um, let's catch us another smallmouth bass. And just doing the same thing. Casting straight out here towards that rock. Just right beside it. And then using the lift and drop method. Lift and drop works really well with these bass jigs. I remember you always kind of float it every now and then, like as you come to the peak point when it hops off the ground. Maybe give it a little reel at the top just to keep it up there for a bit. Tantalize the fish. Let it rest for a little bit and then... There you go, we got full dots, the fish um, likes that. So always, yeah, let it see right there, we just had a little bit of um, tension on our line from a fish. So it's definitely something we slow down for it. Maybe hit the top a little bit longer when we do this. Oh, and we so close had a fish. So close. Yanked up a bit too early for that though. So there you go, guys. This is my little spot for, um, it's just actually super easy. This is where most of the smallmouth bass hang out. The, over here in this general direction, they can catch smallmouths. Um, uh, large mouths hang out over here by this, like, little area, this right along the shore and stuff. Small mouths are over here. Uh, all my trophies, I think, have come from over here, though. And these were just the smaller ones over there. 
But um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hit the like button if you liked it. Uh, if you didn't like it, that's fair enough. Tell me what you didn't like about it. Tell me what I could do better next time. Uh, please like. Uh, I already said that. Comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and I hope you got this helped you. And thanks for watching.